The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That is for the Raw Women's Championship. The baddest woman on the planet is here. Ready to take more names and break more arms. The Queen of Spades about to grace the WWE Universe with true submission expertise. Introducing the challenger from Venice Beach, California, the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey. And her opponent from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, she is the Raw Women's Champion, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. As you heard, Raw Women's Championship being defended here. I can honestly tell you there's only one question on these women's minds right now. Who will walk out of here in the face of WWE's flagship women's division? I imagine they each have very different answers. Oh, it's punishing the right arm. An injured shoulder puts you below square one. This is a smart strategy here. Striking at will. Stops Baszler's attack right there. Right to the leg. And here we go now. Well placed elbow to the leg. Ronda Rousey connected with a good shot there. Uh oh. Knee lift to the body. Nice. Drop the elbow to the arm. Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. And she kicks out. Early pinfall attempt denied at one. A lot of time left to go. Yikes, that'll either wake you up or knock you out. The hit's adding up a little on the champ. Rousey and Baszler trained in MMA together, trained in WWE together. Who has the advantage here? Let's get one thing perfectly straight. Ronda Rousey came to WWE because she was inspired by her good friend, Shayna Baszler. Let's not ignore the fact, while Rousey may be the baddest woman on the planet and earned her WWE success very quickly, Baszler is actually the veteran here. It'd be in Rousey's best interest to remember that. Take it to the floor, what's she gonna do? And she slides her back to the mat. Set right out of the corner. Oh, and a running knee lift by Baszler. Side headlock applied. Yeah. Oh, a right hand for good measure. Tossed upside down with the backdrop. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Real 
to the top. What are we going to see here? Dragon sleeper locked in. Oh, my God. Shoulders down now. Is it enough to retain the championship? And the champ does not end it. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Uh. Oh, man. Looks like her opponent's not going to need a chiropractor. Focus on the leg, punishing the leg. She sent flying into the corner. Oh. Face full of turnbuckle. She's dazed on the top turnbuckle. Perched in a dangerous position up top. It's about to get worse from here. Superplex. Shayna Baszler's defense cover for the championship. Champion, what does she have to do to put her away? I'm asking myself the same question. I have no idea. And there is Piper's pit. Rousey's got that glint in her eyes. Fix on Basler. Basler on the plan takes her down and out. The she's able to make it to the ropes to force the break. Pivotal opportunity there just got denied by the rope break. Queen of Spades showing her power. Yokosuka cutter. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, oh stop by Baszler. The challenger not looking good right now. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. From the top. That was just malicious. It's disrespectful. A smothering assault from Baszler. And this is why Baszler is so dangerous. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Baszler now looking to go high from the top. Kick out taking so much energy to muster. And a mud hole is being stumped. Baszler and Rousey are locked in a vicious battle. We have witnessed an incredible battle that has turned into a war. So little drop by Rousey. Submission expertise. Ankle lock applied. This look and gets to the ropes. That's going to force the break. And here we go now. Drops the elbow. Head attack for the championship. It's over. The reign is over. Let's take another look at these ladies going toe to toe.
the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey. A victory worthy of a new champion. We really are looking at a new era, Cole. Soak it in. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match and is for the ECW Heavyweight Championship. The smoke is here. Ha <laughs> ha, party cups in hand, and we're all ready for a good time. And yeah, make no mistake, AD is also ready for a fight. Here comes Tags. Introducing the challenger from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 260 pounds, Angelo Dawkins. And his opponent from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 232 pounds, he is the ECW Heavyweight Champion, Montez Ford! The challenger not taking their eyes off the championship. And the champ is staring daggers right back at the opposition. And this Extreme Rules match is underway in a kind of match that can make or break careers. It's certainly a moment of truth for many superstars. An opportunity to display one's toughness and barbaric side. Oh, uncorked a big punch. Forearm to the kidneys! Oh, oh man. Oh, a knee! Lights out. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Attacking the arm. Great way to break down your opponent. And Ford's resolve might be wavering here. Yeah, Ford's having trouble fighting back. Great body control. Grabs the leg. Look at this. He just tossed the leg. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. Just launched. Oh, that got turned around on Dawkins. Right to the kidneys from behind. 
sent into the corner. Wicked clothesline. like this is when we see how merciless someone can be. What will this come down to? This is about who can weather the storm. A superstar can attack at will here. Everything is a weapon. That is what makes this so dangerous. It's anything goes. There are no limits here. It can be chilling to see the lengths someone's willing to go to to destroy another human being. And by chilling, I mean beautiful. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Back suplex. Quite a verbose display from Montez Ford. Oh, colliding with a barricade. And Taz was expecting that. Low, right into a chop block. Debilitating counter. Planning on what to do next. Warfare from Angelo Dawkins here. Ooh, slows that down with a well placed kick. Ooh, clothesline deliver. The champ not looking great right now. Yeah, the physical price of the extreme rule stipulation is really starting to show now. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. That turns it around for Montez. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Taking this one back to the ring now. Ooh Dawkins with impressive moves. Absolutely, Dawkins is breaking his adversary down. That's gotta be it. Two count. To keep this match going. Oh. 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 And these attacks are spelling nothing but trouble. He moved, but can he come? The challenger's looking shaken. Springboard misses the target. Deep, deep trouble here for Montez. Oh, Taz. champ away but just how much more is needed the end could still be right around the corner a new strategy is needed right about now if that couldn't end things he's back into the ring was ready for that since the bell. Just looking for that window of opportunity. And now might be the time to seize the moment. Now's the time to keep the pressure on. Super kick! A 
attacks from the arsenal of Montez Ford. It is all Montez Ford right now. A oh, clubbing blow to the back. He turns it around. Dawkins is pushing back now. Angelo ready the storm and wants to create a flurry of his own. Dawkins planning something here. Look at the control on a suplex. A bit of psychological warfare from Angelo Dawkins here. Had that one scouted. Oh my goodness. Dawkins avoids that one. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Beautiful suplex. And there's more damage mounting on Dawkins. All of Angelo's work is being broken down by the second. He's in some real trouble. And he's obviously prepared for this as he goes for the ladder. Let's get it on. Coming back into the ring, back to the action. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs, no worries. And he's taking... Look at this! Oh, God! A totally ill-advised decision there. Maybe slight hesitation there caused the outcome. Rocked with the point of the elbow. And Ford is still managing to dish out more damage. You have to be impressed with Montez, given what he's been through thus far. This could be big. Going up high. Oh, it's Ford with the frog splash. A championship level move. And Montez Ford remains champion. Now let's take a look back at these guys in action. Here is your winner, and still the ECW World Heavyweight Champion, Montez Ford. He really wanted this one bad. Yeah, what a major win for him here. No one was willing to give even a single inch of ground in this battle. At times, it seemed like these competitors... The Beast, the most dominant competitor in WWE history. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds. Brock Lesnar! When you look at Brock...
superstar that has all the tools to be one of the biggest names this business has ever seen. I'm not ready to crown him as the next big... Looking for an early pin. He kicks out before the count hits two. This one isn't going to be ended quite so easily. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Into the corner now. Jaws on the floor. Unbelievable. What a suplex. Hoisting their opponent up oh, for a fisherman. Buster. Punch right in the head. Oh, no. Drake oh. across the top rope. Snap! The other end, too. Far be it from me to tell Brock Lesnar how to conquer. But if there's one bad habit he has when he's in a match, it's that he has a tendency to play with his food. That's the kind of thing that can end up turning the tide against the Beast. I agree, Corey. If Lesnar can keep on task and focus, he'll be unstoppable in this one. This match is spilled out to the ringside area. And as we can see, tension's really running high now. Uh, yeah, we should probably clear the way, guys. Lesnar unleashed. And gets tossed back into the mat. Close to over. Right into the bread basket. Lesnar gets out of the way. Here's the pump 
angle. Suplex. Launched. Just an overbearing attack from Brock. And that's Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. What power. Good night. That's it. Brock's got this. Finally, it's over. Some superstars doing what they do best. Here are the highlights. Here is your winner, Brock Lesnar. That was an impressive match all around. And here is our winner. That was a dominating showing where we saw the beast Brock Lesnar just annihilate his opponent. That's what Brock does best.